I think that people become violent when they are deprived of their basic human needs. I think that they become violent when that is their only alternative to achieving the satisfaction of those needs. A major component of our democratic society comes from the preamble to the Constitution, which states that an individual is guaranteed the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, the rights to life. And it seems paradoxical to me that a nation with such ideals and such economic power still cannot fulfill or seems unwilling to fulfill basic human needs of food, clothing, and shelter. The decoy seems to have worked very well. It's brought them out in the open. They reached the decoy. A country with this kind of economic power and those kind of ideals still at this point can't feed 11 million people and that's according to a government survey. The participation in the course is terminated. Temperature. 111 degrees. Still can't feed 11 million people, still can't clothe those people, even though they're producing those kinds of things in overabundance. Now why is that? And now if you have someone who can't get food stamps, who can't get on welfare, and who is starving, it, that kind of person has two alternatives, right? Either can he or she can either sit there and watch his children starve, or he can go out and fight for what he needs. Talk where you are. Sit down, cross your legs, keep your hands behind your head. Stop where you are. Sit down where you are. government because the government 
is against the people.